Thursday, we've got to just drop the lorry off. They give it a wash yesterday. It's looking good. We have to drop that off for MOT. All cleaned up. Drop that off. Come back. Weather's absolutely terrible out there. Lights on now. Let's go. Get her to the garage. Bloody water. Jeez. Laurie's got a few issues where water gets in the plug underneath. But this thing good. Look at the water. Bloody hell. The lorry here for MOT. Bloody thing won't go in reverse again, so it's stuck in the middle of the road. But nothing I can do about that. They're gonna pull it in in two seconds. <laughs> it's the best I could do. Just over someone's drive. So yeah, wait for the missus now, and then we can get going. Boys have just got there. There is another chimney to do, but I don't know if I send them there. See what I'm saying. Sam all loaded up, ready to go for a chimney. Lovely. I haven't shown you all my belt yet. Just thought I'd show it you. This is the drill. Makita. Only one I've ever used. Does the job. Stabilla level. Best level in my opinion. I've had the Big Ben ones, no good. Open-ended ratchet spanner. The ratchet bit doesn't work, but it does the job. I don't need that end. Tape measure, any old one. Magnets, always best. And then I use the hook for the drill. Harness, Miller harness. Best harness I've ever had. All the other ones, no good. This, this is great. I've had four or five of them, so that's the best one. This is my other harness. Not as good, but still pretty good harness. The lanyard. And then this is the cheap Big Ben. And they're all right, but in my opinion, the Miller Miller harness is always the best one. So if you're gonna get one, get a Miller. And there's another stability level. Great levels. This is our next project. <laughs> Not a lot to it at the minute. Racing lawnmower for the summer. There's all the side rails, the chassis, the front end. I haven't been going out on the tools much recently because uh, there's enough work, just enough for the lads. So rather give the work to the lads so they can have come in for the day, have a day's wage. Otherwise, I'll just be having the days off. Um, so always try and make it so they can work. As soon as it starts getting busy again, I'll get out on the tools, show you all some more scaffolds. Got my cup of tea. I'm going to get my hair cut. More floods. Stop off at TFM, get some bits for the missus, the horse. Right, boys are on their way back now. They've done two jobs today, one out in Elmsmere. Uh, 20 foot tower, three lifts, to access up to the roof. So that one's all done. And they've just finished a chimney. One side of the chimney, well, like two sides of the chimney. 
uh, to redo the capping on the top and some flaunching on the sides of the chimney. I'll put some photos over the top of all this video so you can have a look. Uh, thanks for everyone who's subscribed to the videos. Glad you're enjoying the, the videos we do. Uh, we'll go back to more scaffold content now. I'll try and get out on the tools a bit. There's no point in me going out on the tools at the minute because they're in a lot of work. There is a lot of work, but it's just kicking off in the next few weeks. But I'll definitely get out, show you all how to do some more complicated scaffolds, beam work. Some, we've got a big support scaffold to do uh, to hold up the edge of a building. It's been hit by a car. So we've got to put beams through the windows, hold up the roof. So I'll do a little video on how we do that. And on that same job, we've got to put a temporary roof on top of it as well. So we'll have a look at that. Boys are back. Go on, got up. Chimney tomorrow. And then uh, the weekend.